you guys, it's snowing pretty good right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go on 2N10, how about that, dude? I don't think I've done a video on 2N10 yet, tell you the truth. So now that we have this car, we might as well do it. I saw the gate was open earlier. We're gonna go do it right now as it's snowing. This is gonna be kind of dangerous, but it'll be fun, guys. It'll be fun. I hope uh, you're getting a good view. I really do. Oh my God, this is insane. This is like January snow, guys, look at it. Oh my God, just crazy. Okay, we have a half tank of gas, so we'll be good. Just incredible. I hope you guys can can see it well. But right now I gotta turn on a little heat for me because it's so cold. <laughs> Holy cold. Yeah, this could be pretty dangerous. But danger is our middle name, right? <laughs> Oops. Sorry guys, I had my brights on. <laughs> Man, come on car, warm up. Jeez Louise. We're in the Subaru, guys. And my train horn will echo forever <laughs> of where we're going to go right now. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I am so stoked for this. This is going to be a long video, you guys. It's going to be like an hour. 45 minutes maybe, I don't know. It's going to be long. Especially when we have to follow people like this. It's going to be very long. These people are like, geez, it's just about June and it's snowing. <laughs> Take it anymore. Alright, we are off to the races, folks. As I said, hopefully the camera works out great. And hopefully they they didn't close this uh close this uh, gate up here because of the snow. Man, look at all that snow, you guys. This is awesome. I really hope, like, the camera views, the camera view is good. I, I hope you guys are able to see okay. Gosh, dude, I'm so excited. It's been over a year since I've been on the 210. Because remember, my Mercedes broke on me like, yeah, like a year and a half ago. A little longer than that, two years ago. So it, gosh, it's, it's had to have been almost that long. Oh no, I went on it one time when my mom came up here and visited me. She she rented a really nice Jeep. And uh, so I decided to take her up there in the Jeep she rented. But here we are, guys. We're about to turn on the 210. You guys ready? Ready? Ready, ready, ready? And the gate's open. Woohoo! I hope the other gate's open too. I'm getting some accumulation up here already. So I'm 
parts of this long road get pretty bad, you guys. So this is gonna take us right behind Snow Summit, like literally at the very top, right behind it. Um, it's gonna take us all the way back to the other side of town. And it's just a, it's just a beautiful, just if you were by yourself, scary, it's dirt, scary road in the middle of the wilderness, which is why this is so great. Because you'll see how deep we go, you guys. You'll see how deep we go. And some of the cliffs are sheer. Like, you, you screw up on this road sometimes, uh, you're, you're gonna be done in certain areas. Like, behind Snow Summit. Man, look at how cool this is. Oh, I forgot how awesome this is back here, man. This is, oh my God. I remember when I first moved here, you guys, like, I would drive up here all the time. It was like every single day because I, I was really, really depressed on stuff, man. Like, like everything was just so, such a bummer. Like, like I, I just gave up on myself almost, you know, and, and being up here and moving up here to where, you know, I had peace and, and, and tranquility when I would visit, thought would be a good idea to give that a chance and came up here and found these, these back roads when I had my Mercedes 500, my ML and I charged these roads just about every single day because I didn't have a business or anything for the first few years up here. So um, I didn't have really any responsibilities too much. I, I had saved up a little nest egg, paid for a year's worth of my rent right up front, right when I moved up here. Um, and yeah, like, yeah, the rest is history, as they say. But yeah, this is just so awesome. I've always wanted to be on this road when it's snowing. Be careful what I wish for, honestly. And I didn't tell anybody where I was going. That's not smart. Because I know I don't get any phone service over here. Like, not, not at all. I'm going to check right now. Um, well, I still have 4G, but we're still kind of... Like, there's a, there are a few houses back here, okay? And so, I don't know how they were able to actually attain them on this... Uh, on this land back here, but they were. And when the gates are closed, how do they access them? That's that's what I wonder. So, is it kind of like The Shining where they have to take some sort of a snowmobile or snowcat back here? I don't know. But. Okay. All right, so. I'm going two and two and ten F. Wait, what the hell? No, no, no. We want to stay straight. Here we go. Yeah. All right, two and ten. Here we go. Oh, clear, the, clear the windshield. Yeah, we're getting some accumulation up here for sure. absolutely everything on this road. It's just so cool back here. I bet there's a bunch of people back here camping. There's, there's, a, there's, there's quite a few areas back here where you can camp. Just park your car. Well, I don't know if you're actually allowed to just park your car and camp. I think you are. I'm not sure, but I've seen people, so that doesn't mean it's right. So we're still climbing and now we're getting into more snow. Look at that, guys. Look at that, look at that. There's a snowman on the right, very cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Big Bear Lake, California, baby. everything I preach to you guys, like warm clothes, food, water. <laughs> I don't have anything in here. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, knock on wood. The roads are pretty good so far. Oh, <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so 
2N06, now we want to stay on 2N10. Pretty sure that this is, yeah, I don't know what I'm tripping on, dude. One time I took one of these roads and I ended up in like a really scary, scary cliff. And I said, screw it, I'll take it anyway. And I did, and I made it all the way down. It like took me down by Glass Road on Highway 38. It was really weird. But it was like, uh, when you're driving up, Highway 38, I was like driving down the back side of Snow Summit all the way down to the bottom. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was super cool. A little scary, but it was super cool. Oops. Here we go. That's some... Oh my god, I'm in heaven, you guys. This is literally my heaven right here. Because all day long I stress about so much stuff. My family my friends and I'm talking like the stress where I'm always worried about my friends and family you know like I hate that it consumes me it consumes me like I'm always worried about them like there's something bad happening and I just wish that I could just get over that but it is what it is man alright we don't want to go over the edge here that would not be fun so hopefully we'll see some bears, man. I've never seen a bear in Big Bear. But I, I know people who see them all the time. All the time. I've just been unlucky. I've never seen one. Oh, 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 this road's getting pretty messed up here. I'm so grateful for this car. I wouldn't be able to do this right now if I didn't have this thing. Unless I bought an Enduro, something cheaper, and uh, put a camera on my helmet, we'd be good. Okay, you know what? So, we're, we're coming up here, I believe. Like, on the right-hand side, yep. Okay, so on the right-hand side here, if you just climb up this hill, and it's not far, it's like 200 feet. I'm not kidding. You'll be at the very top of Snow Summit. Very top. And uh, I know that because I parked here and I've skied down one time because I didn't want to pay for a ticket. And I just wanted to ski one run. And I asked them if they had, had a price for one run. <laughs> They're like, no, of course not. And I knew they would say that. So I was like, all right. So we managed to get back here um, in my friend's truck. And, I, and the gates were still closed. So, but there wasn't any snow back here. That's the thing. But the gates were still closed. And this is, this is horrible right here. Oh, my gosh. gosh yeah but anyway we ended up parking somewhere right right over here on the right because I'm pretty sure that's exactly where we're at because there are a couple little outlets on the right and we pulled in to one of those a few of us got dropped off and then they drove back around to uh, to pick us up at the bottom but dude like how cool is that man literally hiked 200 feet up that's it and you're at the very top of, of Snow Summit. <coughs> that miracle mile or whatever that big long run is. But yeah, guys, so to the left, absolute danger. You do not want to go to the left. That is the sheerest cliff on this drive. And I'm, for some reason, like this roads like moving my car all over the place almost like we're we're driving on really wet mud and that's that's not good because I don't want it to push us over over here to the edge man like it's kind of doing right now Jesus all right come on come on I hope you guys are digging this man I sure am oh shiza oh it's a big one Okay, this is the outlet right here, I believe. Just parked right there, and then see ya. Oh my god, dude, this this is like wet sand. Oh my god, it's, dude, that's not good. That is not good. Just stay as close to this side as I possibly can. Oh my gosh, Nick, what are you, always get yourself into this stuff, man.
then it's kind of sloped a little bit to the left too. So um, it's naturally pushing me down that way in this wet, oh my gosh, dude, this is insane. Like it's just pushing me to, look at that guys, push me to the edge. Oh my God. Oh no, dude. Oh my, dude. Oh my God. You guys are probably like, dude, what are you talking about? I'm telling you right now, you're not feeling what I'm feeling. <laughs> How this, oh great. And now I'm gonna have to go way, way over to the left to get around this big ass rock, that's great. That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Don't go to the edge, Nick, please. Please. Thank you. All right. Let's check this out here. Again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can't wait to get out of this part, I'll tell you that much. I'd much rather be driving through a bunch of potholes and stuff than being really close to this edge right here. like a hockey team and get the puck out of here. Make like a bunch of birds and get the flock out of here. Make like a, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, snap. It's like the car is fishtailing. It's the weirdest feeling, the weirdest sensation. It's like the front of the car is up here to the right and the back of the car is down to the left. And that's how I'm driving this road. That is just amazing. Look at how much it's snowing right now, you guys. It's like a blizzard. Okay, so to the left, it's just, as I said, sheer cliff with an amazing view when it's not dumping snow. An amazing view. You can see all the way down to the ocean from here, from 8,000 feet up, right here. But. Unfortunately, you can't see it right now, but at least you can see this. I'm gonna try to shut up for a minute. I'm gonna try, that's the key word. Oh. Dude, it's like a blizzard almost, man. It is. The winds are definitely blowing 30 miles an hour up here. It's insanity. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't go to the left. Oh, that's right. I was going to try and shut up. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're away from the cliff, guys, so we're good. Obviously, there's still some parts that are a little bit treacherous, but probably survivable if something happens, so. I remember I used to come back here and like the whole drive, I would just be smoking bowl after bowl after bowl. But being a business owner, I gotta be a little more responsible than that. All right, here, let's see. This is gonna be kind of gnarly right here. Oh God, oh gosh. Yee.
this in the middle of the road. Bastard. There's so many little off, like roads that are even off these off roads that you can take and go back and camp and do your own thing, man. It's just so cool. Yeah, keep your eyes out for bears. So we're gonna go around it. Steady snow, you guys. This is a steady snow coming down. I hope you guys can see really well. Oh, my bottom out right here. Nope. definitely do this drive during the day you guys um, because it is really really pretty it's such a pure it's, it's it's the most beautiful drive up here in my eyes and by far the most beautiful drive and you would think I might know a little bit about up here a little bit just a little bit oh here we go blizzard
Seriously, you can't hardly see 100 feet in front of you. Hopefully we're staying on 210. really snowing good up here guys wow I better kind of make my move and we better get out of here I really didn't expect it to be snowing this much up here but that's okay we'll be okay it's not gonna be anything too big even if it was like a foot we'd be okay I'd make it okay Push me to the side again. That's why I can't be going too fast on this road. We don't want any unforced airs. Man, it's so pretty. Look, it's really like a blizzard. I'm not kidding you guys. This is blizzard conditions, man. You can't see 100 feet in front of you. 50 feet. 100 feet. There's a lot of snow back here still on the sides. I shouldn't say a lot, but still a decent amount. This might be like my favorite drive ever so far, just because of the snow back here. Favorite drive while living up here, I should say. Oh, shisa. I may have screwed the pooch right here. No pooch screwing. All right, good. Get some air right here. So I can hit this thing on like 50. Oh!
210. We're still on 210. Sweet. We did not divert. Tell you what, though, it'd be nice just to pull over and just burn one. But no can do. We got responsibilities. All right. This sucks right here. A little cliff to the right. We don't want to be dealing with that at all either. Okay, now we're just gonna have to split this right in the middle. Oh, the vehicle is not really too stoked about that idea at first. It gave me a little cramp in it, but we pulled that off. And wow, this road's in really bad shape compared to like my first few years here like look at that we were just on three wheels right there and it's really coming down you guys it is really snowing hard right now might not look like it to you guys but it really is It's nice to drive this much without anybody else on the road, huh? <laughs> safe to say that I don't want to go over any cliffs. <laughs> Gosh, look at this, guys. This is, okay, so I gotta back up to see how I'm gonna pull this off. It's not what I was hoping for. Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. All right, actually, no, this isn't gonna be good. Oh, no. Oh, shit, now I'm fucking stuck. Oh God, I'm so glad I got out of there. I'm gonna try that again. I think I'm gonna go to the left and actually kind of go into the bushes a little bit. The Subaru. She should be fine. A few scratches, it's okay. Oh my God, you guys. My heart like literally stopped just because I didn't think we were gonna get through there. I mean, yeah, we could have backed up, but I would have kept on pushing and got stuck. And then the whole no having, not having a jacket and no food and water and no cell phone service would have been a big problem. <laughs> big problem. Wow, it's really accumulating over here. And it's cool because I, I paid for a service to have my uh, dents and, oh my God, dude, this road is tore up. Ha 
have dents and scratches and stuff fixed on the car it's part of the monthly payment so that's pretty cool oh my god it's really dumping you guys this is insane i want to get out of here oh my god look at this not again come on give me a break not cool you guys oh great big ass I, don't, I, I can't go too fast through it because there might be a big rock on you know in the water that I'm not seeing and I don't want to choke up the car dude I can't believe what we just are, what we what we're going through right now this is dangerous as hell guys this is dangerous look at how much snow there is over here oh my god Dude, what am I thinking? <laughs> Seriously. <coughs> Hope you guys see how much I love you guys. I'm willing to scratch up my car and 2019 Subaru. All this stuff for you guys, man. Oh, shit. And excuse the language. I, I hope you guys understand. Like, like, I got a little bit scared there. Because no one knows where I'm at right now. Which is so stupid of me. to get home and just take a huge huge toke to the dome after getting through the if i get through this knock on wood man because if i have to turn around i have to go through that stuff again and like i'm just, yeah i i know i can make it i know i'm being a little hypochondriac but look dude it's that was scary guys holy crap get a flat tire you have got to be kidding me you have got to be kidding me dude my tire pressure light came on you guys can you believe that so I don't know which tire it is don't care I'm just gonna keep going for right now I don't have a spare with me because I uh, took the spare out to put this in <laughs> the train horn that was a wise move huh guys Oh my god, that's deep. Whoa, that was a lot deeper than it looked. And happy Memorial Day, guys. Happy Memorial Day. I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this and be this free if it weren't for for the folks who sacrificed their lives and just got mangled and crippled and so many different serious, serious, serious issues. It's because of those people that, you know, I have the freedom to do stuff like this. And, uh just enjoy my life because of other people's selfless acts. I'm sure their families still want them around. You know, why am I so special that they did that for me? But I'm so grateful for you guys. All, all, all of you, all of you living veterans out there, all of you passed away veterans, all of you who died in combat. Um, thank you for all your service. And thank you for everything you've done for this country. This country is the greatest, the greatest country in the world. And I'm, I'm, I'm so proud to call the United States my country. Thank you guys so much. And may God bless you. And I hope you have just a beautiful, beautiful rest of your Memorial Day weekend. You deserve everything. You deserve the best. And guys, this is insane. Oh, I hope the camera's still going. Come on, look at this. Another freaking puddle. Oh, look at this big old tree that, that they had to cut up to, to get us through. Oh my God, this is insane. There's so much snow over here. This, oh shit. Oh, now we're sliding. I did not anticipate this. Yeah, 
that's I'm kind of feeling like I do have a flat tire. Um, am I supposed to go left or right? What the hell, man? Oh, two, oh wait, there's a sign right there that's hidden by the damn tree. Let me see what this bastard says. This is so crazy, you can't see anything in front of you because of the snow. I'd love to be camping up here, like right up here. Oh my God, look at this huge puddle right here. Is this for real? Oh my God, guys. We're gonna have, we're charging, we're charging. Oh my God, dude. Did you see the water up above? Oh my God. That was hairball for me, guys. This whole drive has been kind of hairball. shape I wonder how often it's because it's not every year clearly that they they come back here and uh, try to at least smooth these roads out a little bit that would be nice oh my gosh dude we're splitting this big time right here don't bottom out God, don't, oh shit uh, and seriously I have no cell phone service nothing it still says no no service but that's to be expected This is so scary. I'm like barely making it. big puddle like like really made my heart just about stop
right there. I mean, this is definitely exciting, you guys. I'll tell you that. It's definitely exciting. And I do have like an SOS feature in this Subaru. So if something does happen, I can push that and hopefully that gets service. Hopefully. But thankfully, I have the train horn because I could just blast that thing over and over and over again and somebody would eventually be sick of it and want to know what's going on. Oh my gosh. Oh, more scratching of the car, beautiful. Dude, it is really snowing hard right now, guys. This is like January, it's 31 degrees outside. Just dumping. Yeah, you want to find the snow? Well, I found the snow, guys. I found the snow. Worst case, I could make it. I could make it through the night, you know, because it's supposed to get up into the 50s tomorrow again. So by that time, I'd be good. I could walk out of here, just you know. But yeah, it's just I'm such an idiot for not being well prepared, like I always have you guys be. Telling you, if I would have brought any friends with me, we probably wouldn't have made it through a couple of, of, of those spots just because, oh, like this new spot, oh man. Because of how uh, the extra weight would have affected us. Oh my gosh, I'm so fortunate that we were able to go around that right there because that was rough. That was rough. Dude, this is insanity. been on this road when there's snow. This is so cool. Gosh, look at this. This is not good. I'm gonna scratch the car up again here. Oh, shiza. Now, how am I gonna do this? We're gonna have to go way up here to avoid this, or else we're in big trouble again. Oh my gosh. I hope my camera is the camera still on. Oh, yes, thank god. It has enough battery power. Good. I hope till we get out of here so you guys get the whole drive. Saturn would not have even, <laughs> there wouldn't have even, we wouldn't even made it up, up to the first gate. Oh shit. Oh shit, guys. This could be a problem. Look at how deep this is. Let's see, will I make it? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Once again, my heart was out of my chest again. Oh my God. 
I just want to get home, dude. This is... Just get me home, man. Now watch, I'm going to end up taking the wrong road. Watch, pull mine. No, I need to go on 2 and 10, right? Yeah, that... somewhere but still this is horrible I'm like not not in a panic but a bit nervous the only thing that's been keeping me kind of positive is seeing other tire tracks but it's probably a big old Jeep so obviously it, it can get through that stuff no problem now we got it. oh man not again. Let's slow it right here slow it down Touch the brakes and you, you, you just go sliding. Oh. Oh. Oh, not another one, guys. Oh, shit. Fuck. Go, go. Oh, my God. I can't believe we made that one, too. If we leave here with no bumpers, I'm good. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Big, beautiful trees, though. Man, look at the size of those trunks on the left. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Oh, look at this car right here. I wonder what they're doing. I really hope I'm going the right way. If I was a dick, I would have done the train horn right next to that. <laughs> Oh, that would have been funny. That would have been mean, but that would have been funny. But it's just a horn. I'm not killing anybody. It doesn't feel like I have any flat tires. So maybe something like just stuck in the tire or something. on wood, but at least we're, we're able to move a little bit now. I better not go too fast because I'm not going to be able to hit my brakes on time to stop for a big old dip again. That says 2N86. What the hell? Dude, what the hell? What? No, which road is this then? Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fuck. Didn't expect to get lost in here. As I said, I hope that the camera lasts. Turn too fast, dude. Camera, keep going, please.
I mean, we're, I feel like we're going the right direction because we're going down. <laughs> so that, you know, like that's, that's usually, that's a good sign. At least we got one part of it right. But yeah, man, that was pretty scary for a couple minutes there, you guys. That really got me going. You got me going, man. Oh, now we're going back up. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that just great? This is right. This should drop us off on Sawmill. Over by uh, Magic Mountain, that that little sled park that has the bobsled, all that stuff. That's where this should drop us off. Right behind there. If we're going the right way. Oh, good thing I wasn't flying right here. We are gonna have a little fun. You know, we we got a little bit scared. Now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Since I'm 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 having a good feeling that we're going the right way, except we're still going uphill. What the hell? Oh, we're on two and ten. Sweet. We're still on two and ten. Thank God. All right. There was a sign. Finally. Just coming down right now. Seeing that sign made me so happy. <laughs> Seriously. Oh gosh, that was good. Let's get a little air here, maybe. All right. Oh, 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 oop, oh, oop, oh, oop. Oh. Going too fast. Getting too excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down, turbo. Although this is pretty badass flying through here with snow. But it's just taking too much of a risk, man. But ah, screw it. You only live once. So to the left is is a lake also or it used to be a lake or something if i recall but it's a beautiful prairie oh you know what i'll bet it's a lake uh this year because of all the rain and snow i'll bet it's a lake so i'd like to see that during during the daytime of course i'll i'll come back um just not while there's snow got it out of my system i'm good
It's like the longest Indiana Jones ride ever. Camera's still going. Good to see that. Good to see that. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, look at this. There's a car right there. It's a red Jeep. Somebody's getting laid in there. There's another car right there. Underneath their tent, I think they're getting laid too. <laughs> I think we're almost to the end here, guys. I am excited to get out of here. darn fence. I know it's coming up. Ah, oh, paved road. Yes. <laughs> fence is coming up. Stoked. Stoked. We made it, guys. Oh, wait. Don't say it too soon. Wow, I would have hit this and gone flying. Private driveways over here. Yeah, so this is where the private... Um, homes are over here still inside of the fence on 2 and 10. There are all these private driveways over here. I wonder how they got access over here to be able to, to build a house in here. Because this is in the wilderness. This is great. Like, like, this is awesome. I'd love to live out here. But it wouldn't work out for my work. I'd be the longest freaking delivery man ever. Here's the fence. Don't tell me it's closed. Okay, thank goodness. Wouldn't that have been hilarious? The damn thing was closed and we had to turn around and go all the way back. But we made it. And it's coming down. So we're gonna stay on the, uh, the video recorder until we get back to Big Bear Boulevard. Or actually, we might as well just, just take it all the way back to the house. If it'll, if it'll last that long. Look at the house way up top there. <coughs> so cool. <coughs> Guys, it's really snowing good, man. This is awesome. This is just awesome. camera sticks around. Hope the power on your on you stay, stays around, buddy. Whoops.
I remember there were like two gates that we had to go through here, but I could be wrong. What is this? Jeez. Yeah, there's a couple big houses up here to the right. Oh, watch out, Nick. Take, take caution, man. Pay attention. You don't want to screw up your car. Even more than you already did. Didn't hit another fence or, some, or gate. I thought for some reason we would, but it's all good. Anyway, cool guys. Heading back over to Big Red Boulevard. snow over by my house and look we're getting accumulation already from this over here just amazing you guys Sipping on gin or Hennessy, fuck that. It's the new shit that chronic iced tea. Alright. Alright, I'll tell you this weather is awesome. Just awesome. <coughs> you didn't think we were gonna get away with not uh, doing this this drive uh, through the village, right? <coughs> Excuse me. That's my throat saying, geez, it's been an hour since you burned one, bro. What's taking so long? I'm just kidding, you guys. Ah, oh, this bastard. This always happens right here, too. I'm going to back up a little bit. See if it'll let me trigger this stupid... Oh, hey, it worked this time. Wow. Shocker. Every hotel is packed to the brim, you guys. Man, it's insane up here right now. These people came up here for the official start of summer, even though June 21st is summertime, but you know, we usually kick off summertime on Memorial Day weekend, don't we? That's what we do. And they're, <laughs> I can't imagine what they're thinking. <coughs> Certainly these people knew what was coming. Certainly they did. wiper but I, I hope you guys still got a decent view the, you know at least most of the time
going to turn down one of these side streets and drive home the rest of the way on the side street so we can have our brights on. Because I, I like driving in the snow with the brights on for you guys so you guys can see how much it's see like that. See how much it's snowing. So the other day, right here, coming up right about here, or no, right about here, I saw a motorcyclist down. He wasn't he, he wasn't moving. There were ambulances, fire trucks, everything. It scares the crap out of me, you guys, because like I'm buying a, buying another motorcycle soon in the next two months. So like it just terrifies me. Hey, sorry about that, my friend. I went on the 2N10. And didn't get any cell phone service. Right on, man. I'm glad to hear that. Tell her she is welcome, and I love you guys a lot. Look at guys, look at this weather, man. This is just absolutely insane. And camera, I'm very proud of you for lasting this long. It's really coming down, you guys. What is going on? But I think this is truly it, you guys. So please, please, please cherish this, this last video because, or last snow video. Right, you guys take care let's see what my little neighborhood looks like right now oh, we're starting to get a little accumulation well no actually well on the cars we are but that's it all right guys peace freaking out we are off may 26 2019